Paul Tebow was born to an alcoholic parent, worked from the age of six to help his family pay the bills, failed second grade, was a high school dropout, and became a homeless drug dealer in East Palo Alto. At the age of 23, everything changed. He's now pursuing a PhD in education. In 2009, Paul founded 10 Books a Home, a nonprofit with the aim of altering educational and life outcomes for the most impoverished children in the Bay Area. It works with families of preschoolers for one hour per week for two years. The organization has some impressive data showing that its graduates are performing far better than their peers who are not enrolled in the program. One thing that, that my parents instilled in me from an early age was work. Uh, I was working from the time I was six, um, doing collecting cans, um, changing diapers for my mom's daycare, um, doing chores, uh, doing a paper route that I didn't even know my mom was being paid for. Uh, so one of the things I think they gave me from a really early age was, was, was a work ethic. Um, and that ethic was uh, find the pleasure in work. And um, I think that, that, that is what saved me uh, or brought me back from the homelessness and the drugs and the gangs and the jail and all the things that ensued in my, uh, in my adolescence and my teens. Um, there's a guy that was running with us who came from a college-educated family, and he offered a book to me. One book. You read one book, and it changed everything. Seven pages, actually. By the time I got to the seventh page of that book oh. and realized that I was still reading that book, I, I knew something was wrong. When I read Malcolm X's autobiography, I literally shuddered at thinking about this phenomena of poverty that I experienced, but that was everywhere. And it, it just turned on something in me that made me want to keep learning. And once I started reading and once I started writing, um, I quickly realized uh, I was on, on, on route to die by murder or go to prison. Um, I was hanging with uh, not the right crowd, so um, I decided that I was going to uh, take up and go to college. So I um, um, left a hotel room one night with a, with a guy who had warrants in about five states, waving his gun around and knocking off about $20,000 of Special K, it's ketamine, it's a tranquilizer, off of the table and wasn't sure if I was going to walk out, but I had to go. And so I left and I uh, went to college. With his childhood work ethic and college education, Paul soon realized he could do something about the poverty around him. He began to dream of sharing his own transformative experience, his newfound love of learning, with other young people in the community to help raise them out of poverty, starting with reading. Now, I used to sell drugs in East Palo Alto. Now I sell education. 10 Books at Home um, is based on what's called intrinsic learning motivation. And all ILM means is the drive to learn for the sake of learning. It's what happened to me when I read that first book. I started learning for the sake of learning. And what we do is we teach our volunteer um, role models and the parents who, are part, who participate in the lesson. We teach them how to cultivate the intrinsic motivations of the preschoolers. That sounds like a tall order. It seems tall in the face of how we currently educate our children, which very, very high level is by forcing them to learn. We decide these are the learning benchmarks and I need you to meet them by the end of the quarter or the end of the year. And the teacher's responsibility is to figure out how to get them to achieve those benchmarks. Um, we do something completely opposite. We sit down and we figure out what you like. And once you tap into what drives a person to want to learn, they begin to learn for the sake of it. They begin to spend their own time learning. And so, kind of counterintuitively, it's actually pretty simple once you identify what they like. And is it easy to identify what they like? Yeah. Three-year-olds are, three are so 
in search of learning. Isn't this about educating the parents as much or more than educating the kids? Uh, it's certainly about involving parents in their children's learning. Um, and it's mostly about empowering the parents to see how powerful learning is. And there's no better way to quote unquote educate a parent about why they should be invested in their child's education than to show them what their own child is capable of. About 83% of kids that are starting our program are three months developmentally delayed. The children who are coming into our program are three months behind where they should be according to national, um, national tests or national assessments. And we've had four years of children graduate already. And as of this last year, our graduates are outperforming 47% of California students in math and 10% of California students in reading. Big picture, uh, are there applications outside of preschool and in the future? Absolutely. Um, a new mass education system. Um, my, my vision is that children on Friday are ticked off because they have to go home from school and can't wait to get back on Monday. Do you know someone who has overcome significant hardship and has an inspiring story to tell? Someone who has sacrificed or given over and above to the community and deserves some recognition? If so, please contact us with your nomination for next year's Local Hero Awards. To find out more about our local heroes and to watch interviews with all the winners, visit our website, midpenmedia.org. At the Midpen Community Media Center, you can make your own videos and television programs and take classes in all aspects of media production. You can also hire our professional services team. To find out more about that, go to mcproservices.com. Congratulations to all our winners, and thank you for watching.